Okay, before my food haul, um, just an update. I put some buttons on here. I'm going to put a filling in this one. My friend said some of these bags should have fillings. This is one of the ones I had done. I put down the washing instructions inside here. I folded it in half in a little bag. I bought these at the dollar store. And some tags for my friend sells them for me. The zipper I got is like a jacket zipper. It comes apart on the bottom, which is kind of sad on this one. But Otherwise, it unzips. This bag right here, the skull one with the buttons on it, is not going to have a zipper in it because I couldn't find a zipper that size. And this bag is the actual small one from my, these are from my uh, completed crochet slash yarn crafts that I posted on my page. I took the little strap off, made a bigger, longer strap, so the strap's longer. It's hard to film the whole thing, so I'm just going to film what I can. I put buttons on here. This one's just getting filling because I bought a cheap zipper and if I bought an expensive one like this one I would have been mad if it broke but I'm glad it got fixed so it's just going to have a filling and buttons and my friend said I did a good job and that's a good idea. So the ones I can't do zippers for and I can even sew these even though I didn't sew this perfectly straight. I mean it's hard to see how I sewed because of the some of the lines are crooked but that's okay. You don't have to sew perfectly. So my friend told me some of the bags should have fillings in them. The only ones I'm not putting fillings in are the one those handbags I showed. Because those ones are just like handbags. They don't need fillings or zippers in those ones. I'm just doing the ones for the purse looking ones. Like some of the hand, one of the handbags got one. But that's because it was a long one. This one I decided to put crocheting around this one. This is a knitted bag and it's got a crocheted edging on it. But that's okay. It turned out good. Today's June 6th. The dog wants to go food shopping with me. I told her no. She's not very happy about it. She's not happy about it. You don't like that, do you? You want to go? What, you want to buy me a present out of my money, huh? <laughs> I'll see you when I come. She's checking to see if I bought her anything on my birthday. This, on my birthday trip. It's a little up there, too. She was checking to see. She sniffed searching, looking for something that she deserves. Okay, the first item was bu wasn't bought at Super One. It was bought at a uh, co-op I went to in a different town, and I bought those to try them. I know I'm s not supposed to really do packaged foods because usually they complain about the sugars and stuff making you gain weight. Because I got ESR, which is a inflammation, and it's supposed to be z between zero to eighteen. My level is thirty one. And that's not good. It's been high for two years. The doctor can't figure why. I think it's probably from stress and maybe eating too much in, too much packaged food. So I'm trying to go in mild on it. Mostly healthier foods. I got cherries. And I also got eggs because I need an extra pack of eggs. I got chicken for a recipe. And some chicken drumsticks. And I finally got grapes. I could not find red grapes because these are supposed to be. And I know i got to wash all these vegetables and fruits. And I'm going to freeze them and stuff like that. And make freezers, smoothie bags. For smoothies, I gotta write down which smoothies are for. Anyways, I got green bell peppers. I got some avocados. I got five zucchini for some low carb zucchini recipe. I got two. I ended up buying these in a two pack. I needed only one for a smoothie, but I got two, so I got a backup one of rutabagas. And they had to be small. Those are the smallest ones I could find. And I heard block cheese is better for you than uh, the shredded because they don't have that added stuff to it. I don't know if it's cellulose or whatever this woman was talking about on her page anyways. But whatever it was, I basically decided to stick to block cheese if I'm going to still eat some cheese. Because I know people bad mouth dairy, but I don't think all dairy is bad for you either. As long as you don't go too heavy on it, I think you'll be fine. And I got some coffee beans for a smoothie recipe too. I got some brown rice because Rosie will need that for food. I made her crock pot dinner dish. I made these skin allergy friendly ones I found online. And the wild rice, I don't think I've ever had normal wild rice. I mean, I've had the Lundberg one, but I've never had this one. I know it's just black rice, but I don't think I've ever had this one. Because I know I've had the mixed one I showed one time, I think, on one of my hauls. I got some green chilies because you got to have those for making vegan cheeses. I'm going to try and make some vegan cheeses here and there. I got apple juice, oregano leaves, and some extra... Pure vanilla extract, some extra that. The dapple juice was on sale, so I don't drink all my juice boxes down. I decided to get more. I'm still going to keep juice boxes for treating my sugar. I'm not going to be doing kind bars of any sort. Unless I do do a candy bar in an emergency, I'm just going to make homemade granola and homemade granola bars. And see if I think those will hold my blood sugar up at work. And if my sugar drops in the middle. I'm trying to avoid sweet sweets. I'm trying to make my own sweets where I know what's in it, not all the garbage. 
I got two things. Uh, it's hard to see, but <laughs> there's two things here, one there and one there, of kale. I'm also going to freeze that, too. I'm going to freeze them in these quart-sized freezer bags because it's uh, a smoothie idea this lady had. And I said, okay, all you do is label the bags. That's easy. And Ro since Rosie was angry at me, I decided to buy her a cantaloupe. I found the biggest one I can, even though it's my birthday. She wants to be spoiled, so okay, we're okay with that. Yeah, like I said, I couldn't find these grapes in my town. They were always out of stock. Every time they stocked up, it's like people are getting them because they're either craving grapes like I was when I went crazy eating these grapes. And I couldn't get red grapes to save my life, which is kind of funny because, like I said, I think people are doing it because they're on vacation. There's a summer vacation and stuff like that. I got some green peas for Rosie. If I need to eat any, I can have some too. I got some mango chunks. They only have one bag on sale there. And I got two baby spinaches. Again, those are for the freezer bags. I got one rice cauliflower. And, of course, rice cauliflower is in one of the smoothies, too. I got cauliflower. I got two of those. And I got something I'd never seen before. I know it's a processed food. I'm not going to go crazy on this one. But I might just save this for a recipe, like on the holidays. French onion rings. Gluten-free. I have never seen these gluten-free. So I got two of them. I'm going to put these aside and store them for holidays. Maybe I can make that green bean casserole. I don't get to try all right, and even though these, like I said, there's, I don't think any of these are going to be app-based, because like I said, I stopped using Iboda, so I'm not using that anymore. But, I, well, basically because they took the receipts away from from uh, Dollar General, from what I heard, and I don't want to use it anymore, because they're, they're probably going to make people go up from their credit card purchases, and I don't have a credit card, and I don't want people digging around, oh, what'd she buy with this, what'd she buy with that, you know, it's nobody's business. Anyways, I got a big thing of carrots, because there's a carrot cake smoothie that uses a carrot, you got to boil it, and... Spit, you got to peel it, boil it, and smooth it out. I got some bananas. Those are for smoothies. I got a bunch of strawberries. So instead of buying frozen strawberries, I bought fresh ones. So I could chop them up and freeze them. Make some room in the freezer. I got some kiwi. I ended up buying a big thing of kiwi and a big thing of mandarin oranges because they didn't have single ones you could buy. Them. At the health food store, they had single ones. But those were more expensive per piece. You know how that goes. And I got pepperoni for, a, I think it was a low-carb recipe and a soup recipe too. One of the two anyways, but, and then I got the olive oil. Now the smoothies I printed, there's an apple, and I got apples, that, I could always buy apples in town, it's not a big deal if it would focus right. It's an apple, a caramel apple smoothie, a green mango smoothie, blueberry muffin smoothie. I can't remember who made these, but I didn't bother keeping track of the chef. I just printed the ones, there's a PB and J one. Try to focus the best I can. I got tropical smoothie right here. I already did the tropical one, but I put it next to that one. And I basically got the strawberry cheesecake smoothie I'm going to do. I'm going to do a kiwi and kale. And I got avocado kale smoothie. That's a recipe I want to try. There's a blackberry coconut one I want to try. There's a coffee one I want to try. I, have, I got, got to use instant coffee with that because I had to look up what one of the coffees was because I couldn't understand it. And then there's turmeric mocha breakfast smoothie. There's a orange dreamsicle one. I've never even tried these. Let's see. Are these one? Okay. I put dots on them to remind myself of my unfinished list. Smoothies and shakes. I put down which ones for that symbol on it. So the cherry almond one. There's a pink power beet smoothie. There. This is the one with the beet in it. And there's mango green smoothie. There's a turmeric mango one. Let's see if that, that last two ones I printed. There's lots of smoothies in here. I just, I'm doing the ones I looked up. They're supposed to help with ESR, the stress or inflammation hormone, as I call it. And that's carrot cake one. And there's a raspberry yogurt. And in the shakes, which would be the last one, the shake recipe is a chocolate banana peanut butter shake one. I'm going to try that one as well. And I'll be back with my wall. I ended up getting a bunch of seeds. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to plant all these in buckets and everything. I'm trying to get a bucking garden, like I said, ready. I got a fence, uh, like a plastic plastic lining, like uh, with the ring, with the little squares on it type fence. Cheap fencing and uh, some p poles. I'm going to have to have somebody help me. I'm trying to put, like, like maybe a, a friend said I could use a rug or a tarp or something so the grass isn't growing. I don't want the grass growing and bugs and ticks being all over my garden when I can finish growing it, like I said. To my friend, they said that too. Anyways, I got Rosie's beans. I got her kidney beans and green beans. I still got, I got her some frozen peas in the last haul. I think I mentioned that, but otherwise, I also got raisins because I have a problem with raisins and red grapes. I really like to eat them like crazy, but that's okay. 
Anyways, basically, I got some chicken breasts just to hold me over, and I got butternut squash. I would have got frozen for Rosie, but the cheaper ones were the fresh ones. And what I thought was salmon was actually steelhead trout, but I think this should be fine to drop my ESR. I think any fatty fish will do, which I think trout should be good. I thought I grabbed salmon, but apparently somebody must have put trout on the salmon because I swear to God I read the labels saying salmon. I must have grabbed that by accident, but that's okay. I'll still eat it. Something I have never purchased before. I actually pressed 11 on their self-checkout. My friend said, wait, you almost bought 11 of them for 26. I almost gave them 26 bucks for buy not buying one, which is funny. But the thing is, when you press those digital things, sometimes you actually like, press it twice without realizing it. So I must have turned into 11. I never had a dragon fruit. I hear they're very good, though. So we'll try those. I got five pounds. You can see because these ones are doubled. I got five pounds of gra grass-fed beef in case I guess share some with Rosie. I got two things of low sodium bacon. I got the ground turkey for Rosie's food, but if I have to use ground turkey for a recipe, then I'll let her use some of my ground grass fed beef. And then I got some oranges. I'm sure that should be fine. That's not processed too badly. I think it's just in juice, which isn't a big deal. I got bone broth, which I'm trying to go low on processed foods and go more towards healthier stuff like the smoothies and stuff. I got a thing of butter. I got, I know I have one open and I have another one. I keep these and stock, like I said, because I prefer to keep them in groups in case I can't get any for a while. So it's better be safe than sorry. My friend says it's just like you're, and he's laughing. He says, "Oh, it's like you're preparing for doomsday." I said, "Heck, that's probably what I am. I already got the apocalypse fridge with notes on it over there. <laughs> Those are just reminder notes on what to do and stuff. I so I don't forget it. Sometimes I get forgetful. I don't know if it's ADHD or diabetes, whichever. Are, but anyways, I got two cheap avocado oils." braise and this is the cheaper one than the one that I usually get the chose brand but that one's expensive or chosen I think that's how it's pronounced I got these had to do with that coffee smoothie too it called first coffee I couldn't pronounce and then it said oh instant coffee so I typed it as instant coffee so I could read it I got three almond milks two dairy sour or daisy sour cream I don't think dairy is really poisonous or anything like that I got two raspberries i'll be taking these out and freezing them in bags i'll be chopping bananas up and i'll be making freezer bags like smoothies like i think i said in the other haul but yeah and i also i don't remember if i said this one's my favorite this is the apple white grape i bought two of these even if they're processed these are something i go to right away if i can't i basically drink if i'm not hungry enough to eat something i will drink something while walking in the basement i can do an hour and 20 minutes in my basement the rest of my food is going to be three three freeze dried strawberries I bought. I had my friend reach one because I couldn't reach one of them, and he's bigger than I am. The person that takes me out, I takes me out uh, my food shopping for my birthday today, and I got two rolled oats. The reason why I'm stocking up on oats, like I said, is I'm going to make granolas, smoothies, healthier things. I don't usually drink too many smoothies. The freezer bags are right here. I bought seventy, got seventy five of them. I'm going to freezer based ones because. Those are going to be needed to make the smoothies, and you got to label which one's a smoothie, and maybe I'll put the instructions on what it needs to add to blender with. And put a piece of tape on it because the marker breaks off sometime. I got another thing of coconut oil. I got some mix. I still have chicharrones, or pork rinds, whatever you want to call them. I still have another bag of pork rinds. I'm going to try and like season them like chips, maybe with a little popcorn seasoning or something, and see if I don't think that's going to hurt my health or anything because I'm trying to get my inflammation down. And I also got four pumpkin, pumpkin puris. And this isn't a food haul, but my friend stopped over and said she used tapioca flour to make me these crepes for my birthday. So these are crepes. I don't think I've ever had crepes. Kind of looks like an omelet, but I've seen what crepes look like online. But she said they're gluten free. And they're made with tapioca flour, no sugar. She made sure they're low sugar free because of my diabetes. And she gave me a nice little card. Not sure what's in the card, but I'm. Um, I'm going to keep that to myself. <laughs> and anyways, I hope you enjoyed the haul. Thank you. So far, my strawberry plant isn't growing. I don't know why. But um, that's okay. I got my blackberry plant. And my raspberry plant grew a lot bigger this year. I'm just showing the this at the end of my video. So people could see the progress. Of my red potato plant is starting to grow. My friend gave me these potatoes with um, roots that are growing out of it. I can't remember what this plant is. It's not growing. Some plants are growing and some aren't. I'm trying to grow some apple trees too. The bean plant looks like it's kind of dying. A couple squash. That one's a squash plant. I remember that one. This one is a red bell pepper plant. I had to kind of label the sides to remember what they are. This one is called... Or 
cucumber. I can read my own writing, thank goodness. This must be the red bell pepper plant. One of them is the yellow one, but I can't remember. I think it's the red one there. On the other side over here next to my watering can and the log my dad put on this porch. I always keep it there just to put my boxes so they don't fly away. This one is a cantaloupe. And this one right here, of course, is my baby, which had flowers on it like this one. But the flowers, it's hard to see the flowers. The flower died before, and I thought it wasn't going to grow back, but the flowers grew back. And I guess a bee pollinated one, so now I'm getting an orange bell pepper. So that's the progress right there. I had two potatoes out of my first, but they were really small. But my friend told me, like when I did this one, she gave me these ones she grows in the root of her basement. She said the roots have to be up instead of down. So that's why I only grow two small potatoes. So I buried my red ones with the root up, like she said. If they grow roots, then it's good to grow them in a bucket. So, so far my bucket garden's in progress and eventually I'll get a, I'll have a bucket garden outside somewhere. I got the fence and the stuff, the poles, but I need help from somebody to help me plant them. I'll show you the poles. It's kind of messy in this corner, but that's okay people, messy quarters in their houses with clutter messes in a house with someone's deceased stuff you're trying to get rid of but people the food stamp people don't want me getting rid of anything so my friend's gonna help me secretly get rid of it I guess so I don't get in trouble because I need that food stamp so I got a lawn net that's the cheapest one I could get and I got four or not four six <laughs> I say four instead of six but six wooden poles and that's what I plan on doing. I know you're wondering why there's tape around here. That's why there's bugs coming in there. Until this house gets finished, there's nothing I could do. But otherwise, yeah. Um, gotta wait on that problem. But otherwise, yeah, those are the six poles. So I'm gonna start my garden when I get it.